What's up everybody? It's NS here and welcome to another episode. This week we're in Encino, California and about to tour this stunning Japanese inspired modern farmhouse right behind me. This exquisite property was designed by JOMAR Design and it features 9 bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, 19,500 square feet of interior space built on a 55,103 square foot lot and this property is currently on the market for $26 million. As always, we will leave more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. And before we start our tour, I want to thank the development team and the listing agents, Sally Forster Jones and Adi Levaton, for giving us the honor to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And now, let's begin our tour. I designed the home to have uh, a Japanese inspiration. Um, and what that means is if you, you know, referencing the wall materials, the stone choices, the various different things throughout the house, um, they all sort of subtly um, reference the Japanese cult culture and come back to underpin um, the, the overall concept of the house. From the street level, we have the gates opening up to the private driveway that brings you to the motor court of this property. House is nicely set back from the street level and the motor court is very spacious. You can probably park up to 15 cars here if needed. We have the house right in front of us, beautiful modern farmhouse with the Japanese inspiration. And I like the contemporary lines here with the smooth stucco finish, oversized windows, and we have this vertical wood siding detail that we're gonna see throughout the property. Now on my right hand side, we have the three car garage, water feature off of the entry with this beautiful board form finish right next to the front door. And we have additional three car garages here. And now let's go inside. All right, everyone, here we are at the entry. We got this beautiful 12 foot pivot door that gets you straight into the grand foyer of this property. Now they call this area butterfly pavilion. And Mikey, actually, if you look at the fireplace on my right hand side, you can see the beautiful book match that looks like a butterfly, runs all the way to the ceiling. And this whole section is complemented with oak screens on each side that also runs all the way to the ceiling where we have this bolted design. I mean, the entry of this property is stunning. We have walls of glass seamlessly opening up to the backyard, which we're gonna see in a bit. Gorgeous chandelier in the center. And we have this glass walkway connecting each wing on the second floor, really cool detail. Overall, very spacious entry, very minimalist. I love the light seating setup over here. And this is just the entry of this property. And in fact, we're gonna see so many more exquisite details throughout. I know this tour is not gonna be a short one, so stick around and enjoy this amazing property. Now, on my right hand side, we have the family room and the kitchen that we're gonna see in a bit. But first, I wanna start our tour with the formal dining room area. Beautiful space that gets a ton of natural light thanks to these four oversized windows facing the front of the property. We have the table set up right in the center that sits 12 people and this whole section is complemented with these contemporary chandeliers above. Now, this whole room flows to this side where we have a gas fireplace complemented with these two openings where they have these firewood. Again, it gives that nice modern farmhouse texture. And right above that, Mikey, in fact, let's get a close up. We have these vertical wood paneling details. Now, what's so special about this paneling is the fact that it's not painted, but it's actually charred with a special Japanese technique called sushigiban, 
which means they actually torch these wood panels, which gives this nice dark look, but yet it doesn't smell and it actually protects the wood and really allows the textures and the veins of the wood to shine, which is super cool. And we're gonna see this detail pretty much throughout the property, both on the interiors and the exteriors. Now, we have a service hallway here, ton of flat panel cabinetry that connects you to the kitchen. But I wanna take everybody here because right next to the formal dining room area, we have this space complemented with two temperature controlled wine walls that connects the formal dining room area to the family room. And it's just a really cool architectural detail. So I wanted to take everybody through here. Now, we have the family room right in front of us. It's super spacious. We have the same white plank oak hardwood floors also here. I love this massive L-shaped couch that really makes the space cozy. And right across from the couch setup, we have the marble clad fireplace. And on top of that, we have the same vertical wood paneling with the charcoal finish. Like I said, we're gonna see this detail throughout. Sushigi bun. Correct. All right. Lastly, this room has all these sliding glass doors pocketing into the walls, opening up to the amazing backyard. The backyard of this property is stunning and we're gonna see that shortly. Now, let's talk about this incredible kitchen. I mean, it's so spacious. We have two massive islands, seamless cabinetry pretty much throughout and it's all complemented with this natural stone countertops, marble countertops with a lettered finish, book matched everywhere. I can make an episode just on the kitchen alone. I mean, it's stunning. Now, Mikey, let's cover here. We have the first island, dual elevation. We got some bar seating here, pen and lights above. And right next to that, we have the second island, ton of cabinetry. Right in the center, we have the built-in gas cooktop with the griddle. And right next to that, we have our first prep sink built out of same countertop material. And right next to that, Mikey, let's get a close up. We have this cutting board out of this beautiful wood texture. And I mean, Japanese inspired modern farmhouse. And we're gonna see beautiful details like this throughout. Now, next to that, we have the informal dining area, beautiful table set up, chandelier above. And again, all these sliding glass doors pocket into the walls, open up to that amazing backyard. Now, focusing back to the kitchen, we have more base cabinets here, dishwasher, your main sink. We have beautiful marble countertops, book matched on the backsplash, and above that we have upper cabinets with the screen detail that really looks exquisite. Now, Mikey, let's take everybody backwards for a second. We have more cabinets here, your oven setups, built-ins. Let's see, I believe this is the freezer, nicely paneled in. We gotta check out the fridge because look how nicely dressed. I mean, it looks so attractive in here, you know? Yeah, we got some Perrier, Gatorade, water, some candy. And we've been enjoying these. Uh, things in the fridge. Not the candy though. Not the candy though. All right, now let's focus on this side. I wanna take everybody here to the chef's kitchen. You have more base cabinets, more uppers, beautiful gas stove, 48 inch with the griddle. You have another sink here. Let's see, this is the second dishwasher and it's nice that chef's kitchen have a door opening up to the backyard so you have an easy access. Now, going backwards for a little bit, we have this folding door that actually closes and makes this opening seamless. And it takes us to a hallway where we have a staircase going up to the second floor. This door opens up to the garage and we have this door opening up to a stunning powder room with fabricated vanity and wood clad walls. Now that's it for this side of the property. And to save time, why don't we jump back to the entry and continue our tour from there. How do you want people to feel as they walk into this property? Because it's so unique in a sense that it's a modern farmhouse, but the whole envelope has been really uh, customized through the Japanese aesthetics, walls of glass. I just want to hear from you. How do you want people to feel as they walked into this property? That's a great question. How I want people to feel when they walk into the Butterfly Pavilion at Onan is I want them to have a balance of awe and tranquility in equal parts. And if I've missed either of these two responses, then I haven't done my job properly. So once again, the entry of this property is stunning, double height ceilings, and following to the right wing, the first room in front of us is the seating area. Super inviting same hardwood floors, 
we have a fireplace also here. In fact, the fireplace off of the entry is double-sided and this is the back side, clad with same stone. We got a nice oversized window here and on the back side of the room, we have all these built-ins that actually connects you to the office and even this lower section is clad with stone. Now, coming back here, we have the grand main staircase, steel frame that goes all the way up to the second floor, open riser, beautiful threads, and you can actually see all these massive glass panels facing the amazing backyard. Now, continuing our tour, ready Mikey? Elevator access on the main level. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. And we have to check out this stunning powder room. I mean, this is incredible. Wood panels are also here, and right in the center we have this 4,500 pound boulder, and this is where they carved out the sink. This is incredible. I don't think we've ever seen a detail like this before. Yeah, we, we have seen kind of similar, but like never one really on that scale. That's pretty insane. This is taking it to a next level. Yeah, I gotta say real quick before we move on though. Okay. This Shishigiban, uh, is it Shishigiban finish or Shishigiban wood? Application. Okay, it smells really, really unique. It smells really good. Like we've had like cedar bathrooms and stuff before, but like the smell you get from that is insane. Well, I mean, they seal it on top, but again, I guess the smell of it comes out a little bit here and there, but- uh, It smells like a sauna, kind of. Exactly, it yeah. does. Now, let's take everybody back here, right across. We have this barn door opening up to the office, another spacious room, and I mean, all the rooms and bedrooms and common areas in this house. They're all very grand. We have the built-ins on the other side, desk set up here, more built-ins on the back, and above us, we have the beam ceiling details with a subtle reveal where we have the LED strip lighting, closing up the space and a nice ladder detail so you can reach up all the way to the top. You know I love a ladder in a library. It always makes it authentic. Yeah. Now, coming here, this part of the home is really exciting. We're gonna cover this section in a bit, but I wanna take everybody through this hallway. We got few bedrooms and the access to the garage on my right-hand side. This door right here opens up to a spacious laundry room with marble floors, a lot of cabinetry, washer and dryer. And coming back here, we have this door opening up to the first bedroom on this level. Nice and spacious, same hardwood floors around the corner. We have a full bathroom with a beautiful vanity setup, good sized room. Now, coming back to the hallway, we have the second bedroom right here. This one is a little bit more spacious has a walk-in closet facing the side of the property and the warm tones are also here. Around the corner, we have another stunning bathroom, fabricated vanity setup, all that good stuff. Now, let's come back to the hallway again. A lot of bedrooms in this house, Mikey. But first, we have these double doors opening up to the movie theater. Darker tones are also applied to this room with a plush carpet, sofa setup, and right in the center we have this divider wall clad with natural stone, even book match, has the lettered finish. Right behind me we have the screen, projector on the other side, and to bring some contrast to this room, they've applied these vertical wood panels, again with the chart finish, with the wall sconces, I mean very spacious, very grand, and another amazing room in this house. Now, let's take everybody back to the hallway so we can continue our tour. And off of the entry of the movie theater, we got this stunning bar setup. I mean, the marble, the details, the textures, the book matching of this bar is truly stunning. Mikey, look at this bar setup here with the live edge. Talking about contrast and that Japanese aesthetics, you can actually see the grid details on the marble front wall. And coming back here, they have this lip design, which is not really a common detail that we see. We have this nice sink setup here with a hidden drain, beautiful fixtures. And right next to that, we have this carved out section, just like the other side where you put your ice, your bottles, keep your drinks cool. Now, more base cabinets, beautiful uppers with LED lighting, glass fronts, beautiful bar setup. Now, I wanna take everybody here. We have this steel cased window opening up to the gym. Beautiful horizontal wood panel walls, three TVs, accordion doors opening up to a private patio where you have a punching bag, which is a nice little detail. Um, another great space. And we have the gym here because it flows straight to your spa. Now this is a proper spa. It's not just a steam shower and that's kind of it. You have all this open space, two gorgeous vanity setups here. I guess it's a one vanity that's been fabricated with two fixtures. You have your water closet here, and around the corner, you have your shower. Here you have your steam shower with the rain head, and continuing here, you have some cabinetry. 
you gotta have a sauna when you have a spa like this. You have it here. And right next to that, I know this space is probably Mikey's dream. We have the hot tub and the cold plunge, clad with natural stone. It's within your home. This is amazing. Really nice, really nice. I like how they have that little shelf on the other side too. I guess put your drinks or you know flowers or something over there. Whatever, dress the room. Yeah. Now we have two massage chairs here, sliding glass doors opening up straight to your backyard. But I actually want to take everybody here. We have more steel case windows and doors. By the way, it has a frosted finish on the bottom, clear on top. That way you don't have to put any curtains, leave the space it's open. It's a massage room. You need a little privacy. That's right. Now, we also have this seating section. I know we did a full circle here. That's the bar. We have a pool table here, again, right next to the seating area. And this is where you sit down, relax, enjoy your bar, and open up your sliding glass doors because it takes you straight to the backyard. I haven't opened one of these in a while, so let me enjoy that for a moment. And there you go. Now we have this entire room opening up to this incredible backyard. We're gonna start our tour here. We have the decking picking up the same elevation. We talked about the style of this home, Japanese inspired modern farmhouse. And we're gonna see these rock stone details and textures pretty much throughout the property. And I love how here and there, they put these like subtle rock details that just kind of break the modern lines of this property. Now, right in the center, we have the grass area. Mikey, let's take everybody this way. This is the grand entry. Again, sliding glass doors all opened up, flowing straight to the backyard. That Sushigiban applied wood paneling detail is also in the exterior. And going this way, we have the family room with this open corner design, again, flowing to the amazing backyard. I mean, this is stunning. This backyard is just so private, so relaxing, and you have the waterfall here. I don't know, I'm kind of loving it out here. Yeah, you gotta love that Sushigiban also. That's right. Now, let's talk about the 65 foot infinity edge above ground pool design. Obviously, super contemporary. I, I just love it. It's such a statement piece. Right behind that, you have this marble clad back wall, all book matched, and you can actually see the textures on it a little bit, and that's where you have your water feature. Not only it brings a lot of tranquility to this backyard, it really amplifies the space and hides that retaining wall right there because above that, we have the second part of this backyard that we're gonna see later in the tour. We're gonna go there from the primary bedroom suite. Now, Michael, let's continue our tour. We have the informal dining area, again, sliding glass doors all opening up. You have more outdoor seating here. On the left, you have your barbecue set up with the fridge and sink. We have a staircase here going up to the second part of this backyard. Awesome outdoor dining area with another boulder. You're a little bit closer to your pool. You have your spa. Even rocks are embedded into this pool design. And we actually have a tree on the other side of the pool. I just realized I forgot to mention that. Super tranquil, relaxing. And Mikey, can we come to this angle? Just show the house from this angle. It looks stunning. Second floor with this unique railing design. Again, walls of glass facing the backyard. I mean, this is stunning. And that wraps our tour for the main floor and the backyard. So why don't we go inside and check out the second floor. The design of the primary suite, and, and of all the uh, primary suites that I've designed this year alone, this is by far my favorite. The idea is that um, in the natural world, things, the earth, the trees, the sky, the mountains, they're independent and sometimes fiercely independent, but they're also interdependent. The ocean crashes upon the shores of the beach. The sky gives way to the mountains. And so in design, the walls, the channeled, the channeled uh, oak slatting, and they are open over the doors, the door areas, and then closed over the wall sections. Each one independent, yet interdependent on the whole. And the connectivity between the, the wall cladding, the ceiling, and then the repeat of, of those materials as throughout your traffic pattern or the traffic pattern of the, of the area or the, your travel or the path of travel, or the hallways. That, that's correct, is repeated bringing a, a, sense, a sense of uh, well-being and comfort visually. All right, everyone, here we are on the second floor. We're gonna start our tour from the staircase 
off of the kitchen on the main floor. That way we can start from this wing, work our way to the primary bedroom. And the first door on my right hand side opens up to the first spacious bedroom on this level. I love the warm tones here with the vertical wood paneling. And if you look right behind the bed setup, you actually have horizontal lines. So there's a nice symmetry there. This bed setup here just looks so exquisite, so cozy. And the furnishings in this house Although they're staging, some of the pieces are custom, and obviously, as you guys can see, it really stands out. Now, around the corner, we have the bathroom for this room, marble throughout on the floors. We have a nice veins coating detail here with the marble back wall. Vanity set up here with the fabricated countertops and glass tiles in the shower. Now, getting out and right across from there, we have the second bedroom, by the way, on this wing, we have four spacious bedroom suites. This is the second one. Again, vaulted ceiling detail with the beam right in the center. We have the king size bed positioned on this side. Your built-in desk set up. This door opens up to your walk-in closet. And around the corner, we have the full bathroom. Again, same style with different finishes. We have the pattern tile going all the way to the walk-in shower. Good size bathroom. Now, I'm gonna take an interesting route. I'm actually gonna go through these sliding glass doors to a covered patio off of the second floor. Very spacious here. We gotta talk about this railing detail. It's actually not connected on top. It kinda has this modern contemporary look and it just follows the grid lines and the screen details that we've been seeing throughout. We got a nice, awesome outdoor seating area here complemented with the fireplace. And again, Shushigiban applied wood panels throughout. Now, this balcony actually wraps around all the way to the landing on the second floor, but I'm actually gonna go through here to check out the third bedroom. Even though this is the smallest bedroom out of the four that we have on this wing, it's still very spacious, has the vaulted ceilings. Around the corner, we have the full bathroom with the vanity set up, and right here, we have the walk-in closet. Now, right across, we have the fourth bedroom. And I know I kept the tour of the bedrooms relatively short because there are so many bedrooms in this house. And I figured by quickly looking at them, you guys get to see all of them, so. The people can't fault you for that, you know? Exactly, we don't want these tours to be hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, another bed setup here, I really like these low bed frames. I think, again, it goes with the Japanese aesthetic of this home. Around the corner, we have the full bathroom. I mean, look at the finishes here marble floors, stack tiles on the walls, all the way into walk-in shower. And this one has the brass details, even your water fixture, hidden drain, vanity. It's a pretty nice bathroom. Now let's get back out to the hallway so we can continue our tour. Now this part is really exciting because before we go to the bridge that takes us to the primary bedroom, this is the rest of the balcony that connects you to the landing. Across from that, we have the laundry room, beautiful marble mosaic floors, base cabinets, uppers, washer, dryer, conveniently located on this wing. Now, let's go to this glass bridge. We talked about it off of the entry. By the way, you can see the chandelier closer here. Beautiful oak screen paneled ceilings, walls of glass facing your backyard. And off of the main staircase landing, we have another seating area. I mean, the common areas in this house. It's kind of astonishing, the amount of space in this house. It really is. They haven't seen the primary bedroom yet either. That's truly, I think, the largest primary bedroom I've ever seen. Probably. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. Now, we have more built-ins here. Same style. I love the contrast between the wood tones and the black accessories. And around the corner, we have another spacious bedroom with built-in closets and full bathroom. Now, getting back to the landing, I want to show this detail also. We have the elevator access here. That's your grand staircase. And the end of this hallway brings you to this massive pivot door that opens up to your primary bedroom suite. Now, this is without a doubt one of the biggest primary bedroom suites we have ever seen on this channel. This is where we have the bed set up in the bedroom itself. I mean, look at the scale here. I hope me walking backwards kind of shows everybody the scale, the volume. We have these oak screen details on the ceilings running all the way as a back wall here where we have the bed set up. Again, it's a low frame. And right behind that, we have the 17 foot live edge wood slab that kind of dresses the bed section. And although the room has very contemporary and sharp lines, details like that really kind of softens up the space. We have some open shelving here with glass back panels, LED lit. And across from that, we have the seating section right next to the fireplace. Beautiful marble details, wood screen details above. This is truly stunning. 
Now, right next to the fireplace, we have additional cabinetry, sink setup, fridge, kind of everything you need for your primary bedroom suite. Now, before I take everybody that way, I actually wanna come back to the entry because there's a really cool detail uh, about this primary bedroom suite. So we have this atrium here with the bonsai tree, Japanese influence, and this space really allows primary suite to get ton of natural light and fresh air, yet it's super private. We have the same vertical siding detail also here. That massive corner glass is actually facing one of the closets that we're gonna see in a bit. But off of the landing, we have the first closet and the bathroom here. I'm actually gonna start our tour with the bathroom. Barn door opens up, beautiful herringbone pattern installed floors that goes all the way into the walk-in shower. I love this marble back wall that's been book matched with shampoo niche. You have your rain head above, even the ceiling is clad with the same marble. You have your black fixtures, good size walk-in shower. Around the corner, we have the water closet. And right here, we have the vanity setup. Again, talking about those light edge details here with the fabricated countertops and a hidden drain. I don't think we've ever seen a pattern or detail like this before. And Mikey, this is for you. I've been waiting all day to ask. There you go. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Now, this bathroom has its own private balcony. And this is where you can access. You have the wood decking, railing detail, and they have a fixture there. I'm assuming they haven't installed it yet, but they're probably gonna put a freestanding tub there to kind of elevate the experience. Now, right next to the first bathroom, we have the first walk-in closet. We have a massive island right in the center, stone clad with waterfall edge, and you can see the rest of your cabinetry seamlessly paneled into the walls. We have the glass wardrobes here. Again, talking about scale. Look at this. This is your walk-in closet. You got so much space. Now, I wanna take everybody back to the bedroom so we can check out the second bathroom and the second closet. And also, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or input, leave us a comment down below. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. You think you can just push through that door and not talk about it? I know, I was just kinda of, kind of flow the conversation. All right, we got a beautiful pivot door here. It's actually glass paneled in the center so you can see through it. And this is where you have your second closet. Mikey, let's step inside. We have another massive, probably twice the size of the other one. Massive island right in the center, complemented with a chandelier. This is stunning. And on top of that, they even clad the drawer fronts with the same stone finish. This is incredible. And Mikey, I'm just gonna walk around. Look at the scale you have. All these wardrobe setups here with the wood texture. You have all these glass panels behind you with LED lighting. And you have more cabinetry here. This is also, I think, one of the biggest walk-in closets we've ever seen on this channel. Very clean, too. Very clean. And we have a nice seating area here for the closet. Now, Mikey, we gotta show this detail. We actually have another pivot door opening up from the primary bedroom, so I wanted to point this out. Now, let's talk about this bathroom. Water closet on the right, and we walk straight into the center of this bathroom. Again, the scale here is phenomenal. You have your freestanding vanity setup because it's actually not connected to the back wall. I mean, look at the fabrication here. The stone with the lip, the sink design, your handles, floor mount water fixture, your ceiling mount light fixture, ceiling mount mirror, the combination here with the live edge drawers up front. This is stunning. This is super creative, super bespoke. Um, I just love it. And look at the stone right behind that with the vertical uh, grit details that we've been seeing throughout. It's book matched. You have floor lighting there to really amplify the textures of this beautiful marble. This is phenomenal. When they make this, they basically get a slab and they like CNC outlines. Exactly, that's why it's, it looks perfect. And it's actually super satisfying to kind of touch. I don't know if people can hear the uh, sound of it, but. I'll take your word for it. I was like, little ASMR there. Yeah. Now, right across, we got a massive, I feel like massive is the uh, adjective that I used a lot on this tour. I mean, what else I'm gonna say? Look at the stone clad here, book match everywhere. You got a skylight here, bringing natural light, your rain head, your fixtures, and it actually goes all the way into your freestanding tub area. We have these herringbone patterned floors in this dark color, and it contrasts beautifully with the lighter tone marble that we have on the walls. Again, freestanding tub. And before we go out to this patio section dedicated to the primary bedroom, I actually wanna take everybody here. Of course, your primary bedroom comes with a seating section here, and that's your main balcony that faces the backyard. 
You got a nice built-in desk setup here, oak screen details, marble wall actually continues to the other side. The details in this house is truly one of a kind. Now, private patio setup for your primary bedroom. I love the darker tone decking here and board form concrete walls all around you with a fire pit. Nice, private, quiet space. Now, this is an interesting round. I'm actually gonna take everybody through this door to check out the second part of the backyard that we talked about earlier. You have this beautiful tree here, nicely landscaped space. And going back here, this is the staircase that we talked about earlier that actually brings you up to this elevation. Uh, we got more steps, I guess, opening up. On the right-hand side, Mikey, let's take a quick look. We have the basketball court. Again, it's amazing the fact that you have this within your backyard. This house is actually built on a hillside and it's a relatively steep hillside. So it's not that easy to taper it off and come up with sections where you can really utilize your backyard. In this case, I think they did a phenomenal job. And right across from that, which is even more cool, we have more grass section here that leads you to your guest home. It's a really cool space and we're gonna check out that guest home in a bit. But first I wanna focus here. You got a nice grass, basically backyard section for your guest home, bocce bowl here. Property is nicely hedged and you have these sliding glass doors opening up to the guest home. Mikey, let's take a quick look. I mean, look at the scale here. You got a seating area, dining area, small kitchenette here with a sink, open shelving. And around the corner, we got a good sized bedroom and a full bathroom. And that wraps our tour for the property. But of course, we're gonna spend a few more hours here, wait for the sun to go down so we can see this place at dusk. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Big congrats to Jay and the entire development team for doing a phenomenal job with this build. I also wanna thank the listing agents, Sally Forster Jones and Adi Levatan for giving us the honor to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. As always, you can find more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. Lastly, if you enjoyed this tour, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.